What do you like as well? What do you like as well? You doing, Frank? What are you doing, Mr. Frank? How's it going, Mr. Frank? What are you and Hawkeye doing there? Hmm? What was you and Hawkeye doing there? Was y'all fighting? Was y'all fighting over the ladies? I think Mr. Frank won. Mr. Frank is the solid black one. Max, what are you doing? We're just one big happy family. Today is January 1st. 23. It's going to be a great year. I just feel it. What are you doing, a little bit? You do too, huh, Mr. Frank? You feel it too? What are you doing, a little bit? What are you doing, a little bit? Y'all all need to come on in here. Come around the fence and come back and come in here. Can y'all come on in here? Come on. Come on, everybody's everybody. Whiskey, where are you at? Uh, let's see what this little thing over here thinks she's fixing to do. I'll hunt her down. She's going to think twice. Miss Frack learned her lesson. She got caught up in inside there with them and couldn't get out, and it was hilarious watching her. Max, honey, come on, get back out of here. Come on, come on, Max. Let's get let's get going the other way. Going back home. Get out. You too, KK. Come on, you too. Come on, KK, go. Come on. Oh, okay, KK. Come on. Yeah, you're thinking all big and bad between that fence there. That'll tear your little hind up. Go on. Go on. So I got um, potatoes going today. Lord knows, I don't know how long I had had them underneath the cabinet. <laughs> so long that they was already um, growing little potatoes on them. So I have just made me a little potato patch here. We're just gonna see. What it does. I mean, so they say, that's all you have to do. Now mind you, the ground that it's under was tilled last year. This is where I had the tomato plants. Matter of fact, I still got some stuff up here, but this hasn't been tilled at all this year. I'm just, I just got them down to the ground where they could touch the ground and I have covered them up with a bunch of leaves and this straw. We're going to see. I wish the late, all the chick chicks would hurry up and go completely in for the night. Going to put them up. Half moon tonight. What are you doing, Fat Cat? curious to know when we're going to be, get to uh, even get started on any garden this year. And if I found this, okay, so from up there, these big logs that I've got lying in my potato patch here fell. Go on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Y'all, please get away from my garden. Come on. 
Yeah, let's, let's, get, let's go somewhere else. Come on, please. Don't y'all go on in. I mean, it, it is getting close to it. Go on in. There's just a little bit of sewer up there. this time of year that everything her bless her heart this her her lot just turns into a, a mud pile I'm gonna take it. anyway that those logs that I've got lined <laughs> fell from uh, that tree up there right there and what I was going to show you was out of those logs I found this one and I leaned it up against the tree here but I don't know if you can unless you can tell that it's in the perfect shape of a cross right here so I'm going to uh, hold on to that one and somehow get that made up for Easter this year with the purple um, with the purple robes and draped over it Yep, that's the one I'm gonna do. But uh, again, I don't know how our gardening is gonna go this year because of the fire we had. We still, our adjuster finally came out and gave an adjustment on this damage. And so now we get to start doing the cleanup. I'm not sure when that's going to be able to start because Richie has got like five or six jobs going on down in Dothan that has got to be done by like June so he won't be home very much well he's not home very much as it is but anyway I feel like I live on an episode of Hoarders because I have it updated that we had our pipes burst in our bathroom over the la this last spell. So we had to, uh, we went without water for during Christmas and, and all. We finally got the water, found where the leak was at. They messed my door up here, as you can see. But um, yeah, I feel like I live. It's not very bright in here, but I feel like I live in an episode of Hoarders because <laughs> here's where our damage is. And so we had to tear everything out. And it's just really difficult for me to be in here right now. So, because everything is all out in here and I just, I can't breathe. And then I walk out the door and I've got that mess to look at. And it is all just a hot mess. So, like I said, I feel like I'm living in an episode of Hoarders. And I'll be so glad when everything gets put back in order. I'm trying to understand exactly what it is that God is teaching me through this period of time of chaos is what I call it. I mean, we had everything in the world happen seem like. Um, right at Thanksgiving was when we had this fire and the day after our next door neighbor um, that lives, you can't really see it, but it is something on my finger that it is way over there. <laughs> I lived back there. He passed away, 42 years old. He passed away of a massive heart attack. And then the day after that, his, um, or their dog got ran over. The one that I was trying to help take care of as well, got ran over in the front yard. I mean, in the right in front of our house out there and killed. And then the day after that, my washing was La, 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 la. My washing machine, Max is wanting in. 
Oh, I can't even stand to look at all that hot mess up there. My, my washing machine went out. And then, let's see, we got two washing machines before we finally got one that worked. And I'm, and I'm talking about new ones. Look at them ladies, look at them. And then after that is when the pipes froze. The pipes froze Christmas Eve that morning is when we got up and noticed that they had burst. Well, just for y'all's information, this is y'all's last free roaming of my yard. Cause this ain't happening. Now go, go, get, go on back. So, come on, come on, lady. I don't care. Go on, lady. Quit talk back talking. Go, go on, lady. Go on, lady. Um, what was I saying? Uh, everything happened. Oh, I don't know. I done lost lost some train of thought. What's her doing, pretty girl? What you doing, pretty girl? What's her doing? Anyway, what was I saying? Ah, I can't remember. Y'all made me lose my train of thought down here. Messing with my potatoes that I just put in. Would you ladies go up, please? So that I can put you up completely. Oh, and I was going to say, we did have... Um, when this, this chicken run out here was fine for them when they were little ones. When they were little squirts. But now they didn't figure out how to get out of it. So, I can't let them just get out here and, and run in their run because they're getting out and running all over the yard, which normally I wouldn't mind, but now they're, you know, as you can see, getting into my garden, and I'm not going to be happy with that. So, we got to fix something. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Miss Whiskey. What's her doing? We gotta fix that. But anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to just keep them locked up inside their areas there. But that just still doesn't seem enough for me. I know people have their chickens and they raise them and keep them in this size right here, and that's all they have. And I, but I'm sorry, I just can't do that. That's just not me. I can't do it. And I will tell you, um, I can't remember what size, what what kind this is. I've, I've only had it, you know, less than a year. And the problems I have with it is it leaks right here. Is the reason why I've covered and got it covered in plastic, where this um, opens, where this latch, this door opens, raises up. There's just that little crack, and you can see the little crack there. And that's where it goes through the water drips down through and gets wet all on the inside there. Plus this top, it's only covered by this little and as so it uh, it's not very uh, weatherproof, but wet rainproof is what I'm trying to get at. Everything else seemed to be working fine. That was the only gripe I had of it. What you doing there, Hawkeye? He is the funniest looking chicken I have ever seen. Don't you go back over to my potatoes now. And I ain't going to have to sit out here, it looks like, till dark 30. So they will go in and leave my potatoes alone. And I can lock them up inside their, their smaller thing. Whiskey, what do you think about that? These are the ladies. The original ladies. These three. And then that red one. 
right there. That's red. I don't know. Some of them I name, some of them I don't. These are just what I call the ladies. These three in red, they they bunk up together. And then all the rest of them bunk, bunk up in the other one. Richie wants me to move the roosters and only have them and have them by themselves or something to that matter because he doesn't want to eat eggs that have been had their contribution by uh, Frank. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, he is not having any problem whatsoever doing his thing. But for whatever reason, he says he won't eat it if a rooster's had anything to do with it. Maybe, oh, there it goes. <laughs> there went a Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Well, Mr. Frank wasn't happy about that. I haven't seen uh, a little bit. I hadn't seen him trying to do anything, but I've been watching. Frank is the, the dominant one for sure. Whiskey, I'm starting to get a little concerned about you, child. Well, I turn my back and Get on out! Go away! Would y'all please? I mean, they're slowly but surely making their way over there, but they ain't all made it in there yet. I think these is the last ones. Come on, y'all! Go on, lady! No, you're a newbie. I mean, you ain't got a name. You're just one of the newbies. There you go. Go on in. Now, maybe, just maybe, they won't try to uh, jump back out the door, which is what they're doing. They figured out they can jump on top of that gate, and they just hop on over. Where'd they go? Maybe they'll stay in there and get ready for bed, and I can come down here later and close their main gates up. And lock them away inside of that little bitty spot again. Because they won't leave my garden alone. It makes me feel so bad. Oh, I gotta tell y'all something. So this is the end of the, this is the end. I'll just, I'll stop the video with this. Hey there. You see, so. The other day we were sitting out on the porch and Uno, which is our other black cat, was out hunting in the yard here. And he, matter of fact, it was right in this area. He had found him a mouse and he was playing with it and chasing it and throwing it in the air and doing all kinds of stuff. And I was watching it from the porch. Me and Richie and Greg and Laurie were sitting on the porch. And uh, then he gets over to the tree which is close to my park over there. He is right in this area. And he hides and watches the squirrels. And he ends up catching one. And he, of course, kills it. And its mate is running around, running up the trees, you know, barking, barking, barking. But it's not the, the alert bark. It's the, you know, oh my gosh, my partner's gone bark. <laughs> And I want y'all to know, I started crying. I couldn't help it. I mean, it just broke my heart. I was, I couldn't handle it. I could not handle it. I couldn't even sit down on the porch. I had to go back in the house, and I sat in the house in the chair and cried for a good 30 minutes thinking about that mate. That was, that squirrel's mate that was up there hollering in that tree for its mate to, that just got 
peeled right down here in front of me because of one of my cats. And I, uh, my husband's like, my witch is like, that's just nature. That's just nature. And I know it. I know what it is. But I can't help it that I feel. I feel like I feel everything. And yeah, everybody got a good laugh out of it, which I guess it would have been pretty funny. Everybody else. But when you feel everything. <laughs> Everything that everything feels. I mean, I'm talking everything. What you doing, Miss Frack? You Frack? How's that doing, Miss Frack? Hey, I put me some sweet potatoes out. Put sweet potatoes in this. We'll see. That's all the dirt I had left. Had to burnt down my brand new, my brand new uh, greenhouse that burnt down. That had was that had all my my green stalk stuff, and I had some. Oh, I had some uh, Brussels sprouts that was fixing to come, come on. Strawberries. Onions. There's Uno. It's Uno because he's only got one a year. He was born that way. Yes, you honey, you've already been fed. You have already been fed. Red potatoes and sweet potatoes in the ground. Happy New Year, everyone.